Start recording, there we go. Okay, so this next section of code, where we put it is very, very, very important. And if you don't put it in the right spot, your code won't work like at all. So where we wanna put this code is, bad guy, where's, oh yeah, we changed it slightly. So that is scooted in uh, right after here index one plus equal one. So we wanna put it right after bad guys dot pop, it, it, once the bad rectangle dot left is past 64, right even with that here. One, two, three. First thing we're gonna do index one is zero. So we're gonna have two indexes here, index and index one. Index keeps track of the bad guys, index one keeps track of the arrows because we need to see if they collide with each other because if index bad guy four collides with index two arrow, we need to know that. We want index two arrow to disappear and we want bad guy index four to disappear. We don't wanna accidentally, if arrow four hits badger four, we don't want badger one to disappear. So that's what this is going to keep track of. This right here, these two indexes, indices, whatever, have caused issues in the past, so please be very careful that you have them in the right spot, especially with indent indentations. Gabe's already found that out, that if you don't have the right indent, code doesn't work. So everything we're going to type is going to be in between index one is zero and index plus equal one. It's gonna be right in here. So once you have index one equals zero, we're gonna go four, bullet in arrows rotate everything bad guy climb okay now we're going to copy and paste code not because we're lazy but because we're efficient, efficient. so we're going to copy our bad rect code And obviously we don't want to create rectangles around our bad guy. What do we want to create bat rectangles around? The arrows. The arrows, yep. So copy and paste this. I won't I wouldn't retype it. And we're instead of bad rect, it's gonna be bull rect. So we're gonna go down and just change those. Gabe? Define shooting correctly. I'll shoot to the right and it'll go diagonally. Okay, you probably have an issue. Just shoot straight up to like freeze midair. With these lines. So, what I would do is just follow along currently, and then your homework will be figure out the error and fix it. So, we have bull rect, bull rect dot left, bull rect dot top. What do, what image do we want a bullet? What image? What image do we want a? What image do we want a rectangle around? There we go. What's the what's is our bullet? But what's the variable for the image? Chad, what are you saying? Arrows. Oh, arrow. arrow, not arrows. So we want arrow dot get rect. Get rect. And then what we want is we obviously don't want the arrow image or the bull rect or the bullet rectangle around our bad guy, right? What do we want it around? Bullet what? Bullet one. Let's double check. Oh, this is backwards. So left is one, top is two. Top is two. So we're gonna do four bullet and arrows. What are you confused about? Oh. Yep, indentation's key in Python, especially with this game. So we have, Jack, are you on your phone again? Sorry, someone keeps calling me and leaving me voicemails, and I don't know who it is. 
Okay, well, just put, I mean, I've been getting texts all, all the time, but it's on Do Not Disturb, so it's not vibrating. I don't even, it doesn't even light up. That's just what I did. I that is, there we go. I appreciate that. Just That's very nice. Okay. Uh, so again, the top of our rectangle is our, is the Y coordinate. Now you guys notice it's not one zero like it was with our bad rects. It's two one Y. Thorn? Because arrow zero is the angle. Correct. So everything got shifted over one. But it's otherwise it's the exact same concept, the exact same code, exact same thing as what we did for our bad guy. Do you guys need me to go over that again? So you guys want me to go over bad rect dot left, bad rect dot top, and why it's bullet one and bullet two? Sure. Sure? Okay. Now I'm gonna remember this time to make this screen bigger so people can see what's going on, on the board, but I don't want to keep it there because I'll get distracted. <coughs> okay, so I'll rewrite arrows and I will draw. So this is arrows equals theta, x, and y. And then there's more, but theta, x, y. So in our game, this is our arrow, so this is our bunny. Every time I draw it, it gets a little sloppier. So as we shoot, What we're doing is our bullet, our rectangle, so we have bullet rect is pi game, so we are putting a, a rectangle around our, around our bullet, around our arrow. And the bullet dot top, even though it's rotated, it still has to follow basic, like, if we don't have bull rec dot top and bull rec dot left, it would stay right there even if the arrow moved down here. So we need to tell it to move with it. And so normally our top right here would be, basically it's doing this. And the left, it's going the top left corner is basically the X and Y. And then it rotates, because it's following the image, it rotates essentially. It rotates the box, the rectangle around the image. So we don't have to do anything special to make sure that our box is actually around our image as opposed to, you know, our box being like that. It actually is on our image. Is that good? Did, did, did that is that a good enough refresher, Jeff? Or, okay. So again, we have bullet two. This is bullet index zero, bullet index one, and bullet index two. So the top of our rectangle is our Y position, and the left side of our rectangle is our X position. Okay, we're almost there. We gotta do one little, one more if statement, and we have five minutes, so let's do this. Because if we don't get this done, um, you guys will have to wait another like 24 hours before you can have your game work. And that's kind of lame. In class. Okay, so we have four more lines to do. So we're gonna go, if bad rect dot collide rect. So I'll type that out again, if bad rect, and you can do this bullet rect, so if the bullet collides with the bad guy or if the bad guy collides with the bullet, doesn't really matter. So if bad rect dot collide rect, if collide rectangles, if the rectangles collide with bull rect, what are three things that need to happen? What? 
and and that's exactly right. So we're going to do uh, <coughs> bad guys dot pop and arrows dot pop. Now, which index do we pop for bad guys, and which index do we pop for arrows? Joanna, do you have any idea? You don't know? Well, which two indexes do we have in this loop? Oh, you're thinking about this right here, right? Uh, well, technically you're right. Not really. So, there are two actual variables with index in the name. Jack, do you know them? Is arrows index one and then bad guys is index. Why do you say that? Index just, uh, it keeps creating the bad guys and then index one is just there. Well, if you look up here, we already pop bad guys. So bad guys has to de has index has to be talking about the bad guys. And then we create index one to keep track of our arrows. So bad guys dot pop index, arrows dot pop index one. Then we do ACC ACC I think zero, right? What is this line doing? Someone maybe besides Thorin. Jason? Um, well, basically, that's saying, like, it's basically going with like, the accuracy counter. So it's basically saying um, you've hit something. Yep, that's it's exactly started it. Started adding that up. So every time you hit something, it's going to count that up. Yep, we have ACC1 plus equal 1 down here every time we click. And then we have ACC0 plus equal 1 every time we hit something. And then the last thing, the last thing we do, this needs to be even with the if statement, index 1 plus equal 1. So this is what your code should look like. Now, your two indexes should not be on the same indent. That's very important. Your code won't work if you do that. And so once you run it, this is what should happen. Hopefully, I didn't break anything. Bad guys and the arrows disappear. How do you make more bad guys appear. Like I only have one on the screen at a time. Yeah, I mean, that it, that should speed up. Okay. Does it? <clears throat> so the game or the the class is gonna end in just a minute. I'll put these can I'll put these uh, videos up today. Um, so if you guys miss anything, you can go back over it. Also, this code is available online. So if your code is not working. Your homework is to get it to work. If you go home and can't figure it out, you're welcome to email me, say, Mr. Stolter, I can't figure it out. Can we meet during lunch on Friday or in the library? And I would say happily, because I do not, real quick guys, what I don't want to have happen is your code not to work. You come in and then we have to spend 10 or 15 minutes uh, of class time to fix it. Okay.